So today, guys, we actually have our first bundle pack opening of Madden NFL 19. And I gotta say, look, this is after the fact, so I'm not gonna fake any reactions. Look, I'm gonna keep it all buck with you. We already did the packs. We opened them up. This is gonna be post commentary, but I will say we did get some fire. We also got an update on the actual team lineup, and we also got to go over some of the power ups I did. And I need to explain a few of them because some of you are probably gonna be mad at one of them that I'm actually starting to work on. So getting into the packs off the rip, we got the NFL.com reward pack. We have the elite player pack uh, that we get to choose our three free elites. And we also have some gold premium packs. I may open up another gold premium bundle soon. Uh, I mean, I've got, the, I got money apparently to do it. So might as well probably. Don't know if it's going to be on Xbox or PC. Maybe on the Xbox. As you can see, the first elite we got there, Taylor Luan. Already off to a great start. An 82 overall, Taylor Luan is not only a beast, but he's got a power up. And our second one is Chris Harris Jr. 85 overall. We actually went ahead and sold Chris Harris Jr. for a quick 55k. Our next elite, Mark Barron, in the third, second pack. We get a power up Tyree kill. That. That is the power up I'm going to be going over on why I'm actually powering him up. I got uh, two others that I'm going to be powering up as well, along with Tyree kill. Now, I want to hear from you guys. Do you think we should keep powering up Tyree Kill or should we, like, you know, sell him? Because I honestly don't know how much he's going for. As you saw that, we did get Justin Houston off the bat. Like, Justin Houston, very good card. Like, looking at the back of the stats when powering him up, very good. He's decent. 81 overall Nelson Aguilar we got there. But I don't know. I want to sell him, but at the same time, again, I don't know how much he's going for. So, I got to check. May sell him or may just continue to do his power up because it's not even that hard to do. It's actually pretty easy. Uh, well, from what I see, if you got the training points to do it, if you have 100 training points, you can get them right up to that 78 overall. I'll show that off later in the video. Elite Fantasy Pack. Now, this one I've seen people pull so much fire out of. Can we repeat that same luck? Well, yeah, 80 overall Julius Peppers. We also get an 83 Randy Moss, and then the last card was 82 Deion Lewis. We went ahead and took Randy Moss because why the heck would we not? We also have the Mutt Master Starter Pack right here. We wanted to show that animation off and just show off the actual 70 overall Ryan Shazier. Not that bad. You can upgrade him up to his 95 overall by doing the objectives. And as you can see, those are all the tiers along with the upgrades to it. And as you can see, I really do like you know, the upgrades as he goes up in overall. There's the 95, of course. You see he's got up to four chemistries you can put onto him. It's going to require the collectibles. Now, this is where we went ahead and upgraded Justin Houston. As you can see... It doesn't cost that much for each tier. It's about five, four to five. And then, you know, there's some at tier five. It costs 10 to get to tier six. It's 40. I didn't do that. I went ahead and upgraded Tyreek Hill though, because he's actually probably one of the faster wide receivers you can get in the game. Now, when I get him up to the 70 overall, I think he's at 89 speed or 90 speed off the rip. So that's tier five at 89. Getting him to tier six, we'll put him at to a 90 speed. And if you get him all the way up, I think he can go up to a 92, I want, I believe. Greg Olson's also the power up. We went ahead and just got all the way up to the 78 overall. I'm probably going to mainly focus on Greg Olson because I'm going to need a receiving target. And same thing with Tyree Kill. I do want to go over him. Now, we have the actual elite player pack. Now, this pack right here, the team elite fantasy pack, is going to be all the 80 overalls. Now, here's what I would say about this pack if you do get it save this pack honestly save the pack they're all 80 overalls i'm showing you the players right now but the reason i'm saying save it is depending on what you do if you're gonna go ahead and do the gauntlet if you're gonna do the campaign solos and all that honestly wait if you're gonna open up packs wait to see who you get and you want on your team and then fill in those empty gaps with these players i'm gonna tell you right now i used my uh pick in here to get that 80 overall landing column i needed a strong safety so i went ahead and got Landon, who could fill in that spot. He was an 80 overall. There was no reason to get a quarterback. There was no reason to get Luke Keekley, even though I got him on PC, but I mean, it's PC. I'm really not gonna care that much on it, although, like, quite honestly, I don't know. It's actually kind of fun. I don't know what I'm doing on PC right now. I don't know what kind of team I'm gonna make. It, Josh Norman, Michael Thomas, like Russell Wilson. There's no reason for a lot of these players. Like, I could have picked Norman to get my corners back up since I sold Chris Harris, but I more or less needed the strong safety helps. So we went ahead and took Landon Collins. Now, this is the loyalty pack. We finally got this pack, the three-time loyalty reward bundle for playing all the past Madden games. We get to select three players. Now, <clears throat> this is another one where I said you want to actually save these players and pick until you do like a pack opening. If you're going to do a pack opening off the rip, go ahead and take care of the pack opening so you get and then pick the players. 
Now for this one, I think the first one I went ahead and picked Demarcus Lawrence. The next one, I think we took Brandon Cooks. And then the last one, we took Glover Quinn. Glover Quinn, because since I got Atlanta Collins at strong safety, I need another free, I need a free safety. Went ahead and take Glover Quinn, fill that hole up right there. The last one, we took Brandon Cooks. He's got 87 speed and that fills a wide receiver gap right there. And that, hey, until we get Terry Kill up, Brandon Cooks will do amazingly. Heck, I might even sell Randy Moss. Now, quickly, guys, going over the offense we have right now, the offensive line, as you can see, needs a bit of upgrades. I mean, we only got one elite so far. That's Taylor Luan. Our tight end, Greg Olson, is up to a 78 overall. We have wide receivers Brandon Cooks, Nelson Aguilar, and Randy Moss out there. Now, Tyreek Hill, I may fill in for Aguilar at the moment just because of the fact Tyreek Hill's a lot faster. But Aguilar's got better catching at the moment, so I don't know who I'm going to slot in there. But if I... that's Now, this is under the assumption I keep... Tyree kill if I sell him like if I depower up him and sell him if he's going for a lot then yeah Aguilar staying in we've got CJ Anderson went ahead and picked him up he was only going for about 4,000 coins so went ahead and picked him up I needed a Panther on the team quarterback we're using at the moment Lamar Jackson this guy is a beast with 87 speed and the throwing stats aren't the greatest he will overthrow sometimes but just put it like this Remember in Madden 18, in the beginning of the year, Tyrod Taylor was used a lot because of how fast he was, but the throwing stats were just, you know, he would overthrow a lot. I would honestly compare Lamar Jackson to Tyrod Taylor of last year. And then fullback, I mean, we got Jesse James. I do want to get Lorenzo Neal, though. Now, defense is coming there. It's getting there, but, you know, we've got some improvements to make. At free safety and strong safety, we got Glover Quinn and Landon Collins, respectively. At linebackers, we got Shazier at the right for some reason. I don't know why. We got Mark Barron in the middle, and then Justin Houston at left outside. Our cornerbacks, we got Orlando Skandrick. That's just about it. Skandrick's the GOAT. End of discussion. And then at left end, we've got Demarcus Lawrence. The rest of the D-line needs to be upgraded big time so pretty much guys that is it for the video you saw the pack opening we got chris harris jr we got some actually really good elites out of those gold premium packs and then also like i said save the team elite fantasy pack until you see what your team is looking like fill in the gaps from there and then the power-ups i want to hear from you guys should we just go ahead and sell those power-up players if they're going for a lot or just go ahead and try to power them up as much as possible and i want to hear from you guys so far what is your overall madden if you've been playing the trial what did you get your team to what have you done so far i want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching take it easy y'all have a safe one peace